Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Today, I am going to be talking about yarn. <laughs> of course. Um, I have never done a top five or top 10 favorite yarns of mine. And I thought maybe this is the opportunity to do that. So here we go. The top five yarns that I absolutely have to have in my stash at all times. Here we go. Let's start with Charisma. Okay. Charisma is something that I use a lot in the winter time. Uh, I absolutely love their colors. I love the texture and I make a lot of different sweaters out of this and it's just one of my favorites. It's you can't go wrong with charisma. If you like thicker yarns, um, this is a great one to have. So charisma is 100% acrylic, I believe. And um, well, this one is called Strawberry Multi, just so you know, <laughs> which is weird because it's purple. Have you seen a purple strawberry? Actually, I have seen a purple strawberry before, not in real life, but pictures. Okay, this is a bulky five and I have it in quite a few colors uh, and they always come out with new colors every year. Okay. There is a 190, sorry, 109 yards in a skein, 100 grams, and that's 100 meters. Doesn't seem like a lot, but you can get a hat or most of a hat out of just one skein. My next top is something that I have to have all the time in my stash because it's so versatile. Okay, and it's why, I mean, the charisma you can get at Michael's, right? And this is the other one at Michael's. Okay. And this is the craft smart value. Okay. It, this one comes in a ton of colors, a ton of colors. So if you're ever in need of an inexpensive yarn, that is a good quality yarn. This is the one I get. Um, it's so soft. It is nothing like Super Saver. It is, for a value yarn, it is top notch, in my opinion. Okay, this is 100% uh, acrylic. Okay, it's a medium four. So a lot of different um, crocheters can use this. Even if you're a knitter, you can use this. Okay, it is, uh, la, 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 la. let's see. There's 198 grams and it's, ooh, where is it? 354 yards, 324 meters. That's a lot of yarn. If I was going to be making a sweater, 2X sweater, I would need maybe three of these, um, depending on the stitches that I use. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm not sure what the price is down in the States, but up here, they're like $3.99. Really? You cannot go wrong with that. My next top, and this is, this is something that you have to kind of do through the mail, <laughs> but this is Premier Basic. Okay. You've got to get this from Premier. Sometimes I think I don't know if you can get the Premier Basic in Hirschner's or, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't looked. I always get this right from Premier. Okay. This is a medium four weight. Again, very versatile. It's 100% acrylic. There's 359 yards, 328 meters. So if you compare that with the Craft Smart. It's very comparable. There's, I mean, the Craft Smart has 354 yards and the Basics has 359. That's like very comparable. So if you're looking for, they're very, they're, they're close to the being the same. The squishy factor is the same. Um, the softness is the same. 
this is a lot. Well, if you're if you're ordering through um, through Premier for this, you got to pay for the shipping. In our case in Canada, sometimes we've got to pay for the border fees. So in reality, this is the cheaper way to go because you can get it right from Michaels. But this is a, a wonderful yarn. I just love this yarn and I have to have it in my stash all the time because I can make sweaters out of this. I can make hats. I can make everything that I make. I can make from this, but it's just one of those yarns that I absolutely love. So if you like to order from Premier, check this out because it is wonderful. I think they have variegated now as well. Bonus. Okay, here's one for everybody in the States. Oops, sorry. Dogs walking through, getting caught, and playing with the cat. <laughs> um, this one's one straight from the States. Okay, of course, it's I Love This Yarn. And it's not only I Love This Yarn. It's I Love This Yarn print. Okay, this is one of my top, top favorite yarns. Um, I love variegated yarns. I love heathered yarns. Um, I like marled yarns. This one is just outstanding. I, any, all of the, I love this yarns. They, they branded this perfectly because everyone that I've known, everyone that talks about, I love this yarn says that they love this yarn. Okay, and I have been lucky enough to be able to have a few friends send this to me. And I've had, I've done orders through them and they've been kind enough to um, go shopping for me and spend my money. <laughs> so it's one of those, you know, seriously, it's like, take my money. Anything from Hobby Lobby, take my money. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, a medium four. It is 100% acrylic. There is 230 meters, 252 yards, and um, it's it's not as soft as these ones, but it it does have a squish factor. Um, it feels a little more sturdy. If that's it's not a super saver type feel, not at all, not at all. It's like no comparison, um, but it just feels like it's a tighter wind. It's wound tighter, so it would stand up really well. Uh, I've made tons of sweaters out of this, and I absolutely adore this yarn. And the price tag says $4.99 which is a fantastic deal if you get it at regular price. But I also know that Hobby Lobby does these big sales that Canada never gets. And so you can get this a lot cheaper. But for, for um, a Hobby Lobby yarn, this one is my absolute favorite. Okay, this one I've loved ever since I started crocheting. This is my guilty pleasure. This one is um, something that Michaels has out all year, every year. It comes out with new colors and sometimes it's kind of hard to get because it sells out really quickly. And that is the Karen Latte, of course. Anybody that knows me knows that me and Karen Latte go hand in hand. Um, the squish factor on this is amazing, amazing. Uh, it, the colors, I wish they would come out with more solid color. Like they came out with white last year. Was it last year or the year before? Oh, oh it was fantastic. But trying to get your hands on it, it was insane. I wish they would come out with black, to be honest. Um, because it can go with anything, right? You can put it with any one of their yarns uh, and it would look fantastic together. So 
but I was so thrilled to see them come out with white and I really hope that they come out with it again. Um, because I've used all mine up. <laughs> okay. So there is, uh, 485 meters, 530 yards in this. It's 58% acrylic, 42% nylon. Um, this cake goes a long way, a long way. I think I only used, I want to say two cakes to make a campfire cardigan. Like that's crazy. That's, that's really crazy. And I think I had some left over and that's for a two X like, hello. Um, so I always have something like this, like this one on hand, because you never know when a girl needs a fuzzy hat, right? Just saying it makes a fantastic scarf. It makes a wonderful shawl. Like, oh, you could do anything with this. You can even put this in amigurumi. I wouldn't, but you could. <laughs> so... Um, the only thing about this yarn that has been an issue is the washing and drying. Now, if you, because a lot of people say it will mat, I've never had that happen to me because I wash all of my stuff in cold. And I also, if I'm going to put it in the, any of my crocheted stuff, if I'm going to put it in the dryer, I put it on delicate, um, and, you know, there's other people that have said they don't have a problem with it at all. So um, it's just an all which, in all what you like. There's a lot of people that don't like anything that has a halo. But um, I do. <laughs> it's just one of my favorite things. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw in a bonus. All right. This one, um, I came across a year two years no was it last year or the year before um i had it sent to me from a wonderful friend and ever since then i have been addicted to this yarn and it's not even really yarn <laughs> and it is the yarn bee scrubology scrub it this yarn this makes amazing scrubbies. I will never go back to using that other scrubby yarn. Um, that stuff is hard to work with and it's just, it's thin and I just, I don't like it at all. I make all of my scrubbies with this. And if you do craft fairs, this is an excellent seller, excellent seller. Um, I will never go back. I will never go back. And so I keep a stash of these on hand every year now uh, so that I can have a really good seller at my craft fair. So this is, and but don't put this in the dryer. Uh -uh -uh. It will melt. It will melt. It will shrink. Um, so if you're going to wash it, wash it in cool water or whatever, and just set it out to dry. Okay. Um, this is 79 yards and I'll tell you, it goes quite, a, quite a ways. I can get two big, I'm talking big scrubbies with this. Uh, it's hundred percent nylon, so no heat. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's 73 meters, 79 yards in this, and you can only get this in the States. Okay. At Hob Hobby Lobby. So yeah. So if you're Canadian and you want this yarn, get a hold of your U S buddies and get them to get you a ton of it. That's all I'm going to say. And it comes in a a lot of colors, a lot of colors. I wish I could get like every color, every color. Okay, everybody. So that's all I have for you this time round. I have, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I have a ton of different yarns in my yarn stash that uh, I absolutely love, but these five are my go-tos uh, for any project. But I, I have a lot more yarn. Um, the next video I might do my loves, my like, or, or, you know, some fun types of yarns. Um, but these are my top five, my top five that I have to have at all times. <laughs> okay. So thanks for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. Love you all. Bye.